people who have implicitly concluded after reading the Bible that spiritual gifts have ceased um, sometimes reinforce their biblical view by asking, if the spiritual gifts are spread out among the body and not everybody receives the same gifts necessarily, why is it that almost everyone seems to have the gifts that are the most easily faked while no one is walking around healing the blind and raising the dead? I'm not talking about a prayer of faith for divine healing that anyone can do. I'm talking about someone who has specifically received the gift of healing. Right, so the answer to that is it's an entirely false premise. First, there are many prophetic words that are totally supernatural, that have no possible human explanation, that can't be faked, that have brought people to repentance in you know, shocking ways, you know, tears of awe because of God. So you know, why does that happen? Uh, but uh, Craig Keener in his scholarly two-volume work on miracles, after looking at documentation and testimonies, his estimate is that at least 200 million people on the planet ha are eyewitnesses to miracles, healings, miracles, etc. So there, there are accounts of the dead being raised. Uh, my, my best, one of my best friends in the world, my best friend in India, Yesu Padam, uh, his, his wife Padmini died of brain cancer. It had, spread, it had spread down her spine. She was crippled. She was pronounced dead in the hospital in Visha Kapatan. They, they showed me the hospital. And, and less than 15 minutes later, she sat up, healed, got out of bed, started jumping up and down to the shock of the hospital. I mean, they had the sheet over her head the whole bit. Um, and I met her. She lived a couple years after that and then went to be with the Lord. Um, um, one of our grads for our ministry school, Dan Kalenda, uh, who's taken over Ron Hart Bonnke's preaching around the world for Christ for All Nations, uh, he... he um, sent out a praise report one night that three kids in the same family, three kids who were all blind were instantly healed in, in one of the meetings. And this happens all the time. So the fact is God is doing this. Uh, Heidi Baker in Mozambique, uh, people came to, because uh, they've had a, a special gift for, for blind eyes opening and deaf hearing. So scientists came over to test and, and verified. I, I don't know if it's been published yet in the medical report. I was told it was going to be. Uh, verified the healings of the deaf with scientific data, so God is doing it. So if you wanna use the argument of experience, the fact is that it is happening. And, and even the idea that it ceased in history, Augustine in the fourth century had written off healing and said it didn't happen anymore until in a two year period they documented 70 miracles and he had to change his theology based on what he experienced. So the word's clear on it, the, the word never says that it ceases uh, and, and therefore, we, um, we embrace what he's doing. And if we don't see it, we say something's missing. Would you draw a distinction between someone praying for divine healing and someone who has received a gift to heal? Yes. Yeah, I, I would. So, for example, the, the blind eyes and deaf ears that have been, that have been uh, opened and healed through Heidi Baker's ministry. I've never seen anything like that in, in my own ministry. I prayed for the sick and seen some amazing things happen and... You know, cancerous tumor left someone's body when she went in for surgery, the thing had disappeared. I've seen that, but I certainly don't have a gift of healing. Uh, but then I, I, one of my friends is especially gifted to pray for the deaf over the years. Um, and, and we know others that have been used in, in some cases in raising the dead. So uh, yeah, there are specific gifts and, and they're manifest in certain ways that are very supernatural. And that's part of the, the massive harvest around the world. And uh, you know, the other thing in terms of abuses and things like that. Again, when, when Paul wrote to the Corinthians, he didn't say this can't be the spirit because of the abuses in your midst. And the abuses there are worse than stuff. I've never been in a, a church community where they were celebrating an incestuous relationship, and yet that was happening in Corinth where a guy had his father's wife, uh, you know, something forbidden, and yet the Holy Spirit was still moving in their midst. So we have to deal with the extremes and the errors when they're there. And, and, then, and then correct things biblically. But again, if I was gonna write things off based on abuses, I'd have to write off every church on the planet, every denomination because of abuses. So we go back to the word and we build on that.